Hi everyone, it's me, Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast, coming to you today with a little knitting pattern tutorial. This is called the Bubble Pattern. I was looking around for a fun knitting pattern that had a little bit of texture to it, but wasn't um, like cables. So I found this and I found it very easy to do and thought it would be a lot of fun to maybe teach somebody who's never seen it or done it before. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this sample here, I cast on 22 stitches. That is because your multiples are 10 plus two. So I wanted to get just a couple of multiples there so that way you can actually see what the heck is going on here's what the back looks like and we will go ahead and grab another thing of yarn and needles and get started so this is just some yarn that was in my scrap bin with no label on it it is a very fine baby weight And again, I'm just going to cast on 22 stitches just so that way we can run through the repeats a couple of times. And you can do your cast on however you feel most comfortable. That is completely and entirely up to you. I will do a long tail cast on. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and cast on those 22 stitches and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have my 22 cast on stitches. <clears throat> row one and two is very easy. Row one, you knit all stitches. Row two, you purl all stitches. So pretty basic stockinette to start with. Go ahead and knit row one and purl row two. I will meet back up with you once we have reached the end of row two. Okay, so now you have row one and two done. Let's go ahead and begin row three. Rows three and seven is where the fun begins, where it creates the bubble effect. So on row three, you're gonna knit that first stitch. Okay. Now we're going to knit five, one, two, three, four, and five. Now turn your work over and purl those five stitches. So just purl your way back. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to turn your work back over. And that is one time of a repeat. You're going to do that two more times. So knit five. We're working over the same five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work over. And purl those five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. So that's two. I've got to do this one more time. So knit those five stitches again. One, two, three, four, and five. 
Turn your work back over and purl those five stitches. Okay, and that is three passes and now you see the bubble effect. So now we're gonna knit 10. So knit these five again and five more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now we're gonna repeat that same thing. We're gonna knit five and purl five. We're gonna work those same five stitches three times. Turn your work over and purl back five. So one, two, three, four, five. Turn your work over and knit those five again. One, two, three, four, five. That makes a second pass through. Turn your work over and purl those five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now turn your work over. And we're going to knit those five and the next five. So knit 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and knit your last stitch. Okay, so now you're going to turn your work over and you're going to purl all stitches. So purl all 22 stitches. Okay, turn your work over and now you're going to knit the next row and purl the next row. <clears throat> so knit row five, purl row six, and I will meet back up with you for row seven and eight. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin row seven. Row seven, you're gonna knit six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And what that's doing is offsetting from the first bubble that you made and putting your next one right in the center between the two that you made. That's what that's doing. So now we're gonna do like we did previously. We're going to work over five stitches and we're gonna repeat that same thing. Knit, purl, that's one. Knit, purl, 
two, knit, purl, three. So go ahead and do that where one, two, three, four, and five. Turn the work and purl back five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work over. Now that was one pass. Let's do that again. Knit five. One, two, three, four, and five. Turn it over. Purl those same five stitches. Two, three, four, and five. Turn your work over. So that was two passes. Now we're gonna do our very last one. Knit five, one, two, three, four, five. Turn your work over and purl those five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so turn your work over. And you're gonna knit 10. So knit across those five stitches. One, two, three, four, five and five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna go ahead and repeat that again over the next five stitches. So knit five, one, two, three, four, and five. You will have one, one stitch left on your needle. Turn your work over and purl those five stitches. Okay, that was one. Now we're gonna knit the five stitches again. One, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work over and purl those five stitches. Okay, that's two passes. Knit those five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work over and one last trip across by purling. One, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work over. And now we're gonna knit those five and the last one. And that will complete row seven. Turn your work over, and for row eight, you're going to purl all stitches.
Okay, and to continue the pattern, you're just gonna continue those eight rows. So here we have, scoot it down just a little bit. We have it in blue and we have it in green. Lots of fun to do this pattern. Very simple with only two of the eight rows actually working part of what makes the pattern. The rest of it's just your standard stockinette. Knit the front, purl the back, knit the front. So it's, it's really, really easy to do. And I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Have you guys knitted this before? And if you did, what did you use it for? I really am interested in knowing. Okay, until next time, everyone, be blessed, be a blessing, and bye for now.